Hello, I'm David Bolton of Go Parallel, and today I'm going to talk about doing embarrassingly parallel Python and comparing performance times with Python, Cython and Intel Python. What does embarrassingly parallel mean? Quite simply that the task itself can be converted into a number of parallel tasks very easily. In the last screencast I did on the Monte Carlo Pi estimation, we could have used that. That's also embarrassingly parallel, but it's not a very good series. It isn't very accurate the numbers it it converges way too slowly. You'd have to throw virtually billions of billions of darts, virtual darts, to get the value. So instead we're going to use the Nili Cantha series. Um, that's also used to compute pi, but it does it completely differently and it's pretty fast at converging. And it, the way it does it is it sums up terms in a series. If you look on the Wikipedia here, you start off with three and then you divide four by two by three by four, that's one term. You then subtract the next term which is four by four by five by 6 and the next term you add is 4 divided by 6 times 7 times 8 minus 4 over 8 times 9 times 10 and you carry on with this for a long time as long as you want and the more you go on the more accurate and the number of digits of pi you get. Here's a very short Python program that uses decimals to calculate the precision for working out pi. Uh, basically each term that I was talking about is defined inside this loop here and the variable s for sign just alternates between 1 and minus 1 and this uses range to start with 2 and then goes up to n times 2 where n's a number of terms in this case half a million and it goes up in twos and that's really all there is to it to calculate it. Very very simple. Um, We'll see shortly that this t this bit inside the for loop can be done as parallel, and you can run a lot of these in parallel, hence the embarrass embarrassingly parallel. We'll look at the running this in a second. I'm running Ubuntu 14.04 LTS, and I have Intel Python installed here. If we look at Python 3 minus V, you can see it's Python 3.5.1, and which Python 3 shows it as being Intel Python. Now if I run the program, this is the calc chi.py, under Python, and we'll time that, and put it this way, you've almost got time to go for a cup of coffee, it takes about 30 seconds. Yeah, I bet you didn't spot that I paused the video recording then. As you can see, in that case it took 32 seconds, and let's run this with Python 3. And it takes just over one second. So the big question is, if Intel Python can run it 32 times quicker than standard Python, how much quicker can Cython run it? And we'll look at that in a minute. We have to create three files to run it under Cython. First is the extension, this is the source code here, and basically I've moved the fun I've moved it into a function, it returns the calc pi here, we pass in the number of iterations. Then we have the setup file, which is the one that's used to build it, and we build the extension with this command here. And I'll just do that. In fact, I built it before, so it's it's still there. And then to test it, we've got a small testpy.python, and we run that one just by Python testpy. Now I've just run it, and it's 31 seconds. If I run it under Python 3, it takes under well under one second. That's a heck of a difference in performance. Right. Next, we're going to add OpenMP to the Cython version. This proved actually to be quite fiddly, and the problem is that you have to maintain two sets of variables. Those that work within Python, and those that work outside of the global lock, the GIL. And if you want to have parallelism and multi-threading, you have to do it without the GIL. And this is the code which runs the multi-threading. You can see this is still the same algorithm, but I'm using parallel range here so that it allocates each one of these loops to a separate thread. And at the end it just adds three and we'll see this running in a second. As before, we have three sets of files. I've got ccalc pyx, which is the program, uh, setup2.py, which builds it, and you can see we've got extra compile args and link arguments for OpenMP, and then testpi2, which imports from ccalc.py, and you can see I've called it ccalc.py there. And when I run this, let's run it once with Python 2, it does it in Actually, that's, a, that's quite a long one, typically around 0 0.015, and the Python 3 one is typically around 0 0.41 seconds. Let's try it again. What you find is on repeated runs, it sometimes is a little bit quicker. There's quite a bit of variation, so it's, it's worth running this a lot. 
Now, astonishingly, if you think that the original program running under Python took 30 seconds to run, and this one took around 0 0.01415, that's approximately 2,000 times faster, which is pretty impressive. Even the Intel one is still several hundred times faster because the Intel original one was only took a second. But overall, the, you can see you get a substantial improvement by using Scython and OpenMP. Thank you for watching. I'm David Bolton of GoPilot.